All right, Shalom. I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect of Yasha Allah, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And blessings and salutations to you, Akim, out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth. Okay, uh, just, you know, doing an impromptu um, over uh, a, a video I had seen earlier. You know, there was a video that the brothers had sent. And there was a, a, a so-called, you know, black woman teach, uh, telling, telling, you know, telling the public what's some of the conditions that's going down in Texas and the area that she's in. And she's, you know, basically saying the news is not covering everything. They saying they have the right to control who gets power and who doesn't get power. All right. Some of the things that they have set up to actually be beneficial are actually not, you know, helping. OK, I guess they got places where you can get warm at. Uh, they got places you can get warm at, but you can't stay the night there, you know. So, um, yeah, amongst other things, um, I'll, I'll try to put the video in the description box, you know. But basically, things are, are real bad down there. You know what I'm saying? And you, you probably can see multiple videos of things going on and everything. But this this was all talked about. This was all. See, the thing is, our people wait until the last minute. You know, our people wait until things get bad, things get rough. You know, the Lord told us to seek him in our youth, you know. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that get on camera and be saying stuff and this is going on, they didn't see a group of prophets, man. Okay? They didn't see a group of prophets. All right? The thing with our people is what I'm, you know, going to read in the scriptures right now because a brother brought it out on the highways yesterday. And then I didn't. I just clicked chapter two. I didn't know exactly which chapter it was. And then the first scripture I seen was verse five, which was actually the one I was looking for, you know. But um, I wanted to start at three. So this is Ezekiel two and three. It says, and he said unto me, son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel to a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me. They and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day. And. Our people throughout history have always been trusting in the, uh, they've been unfaithful. I just, you know, they've been unfaithful to the point where they was trusting in whatever, whoever captivity we was, um, opposed to trusting in the heavenly father, man. Okay. And that's why the, the Lord set up the elect and the chosen ones. Okay. Before the foundation of the earth. To always have that vibration of trust in him and faith in him, you know. And here it is, here we are. And you can't say this isn't the end, the end times, the end of the world, the end days, the last days, however you want to put it, man. There's so much going on. Okay? Even to the point where you have this word being spread across the four corners of the earth. Okay, you have this, this 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 society is just running rampant with wickedness, man. All right. And I and, you know, dealing mainly with our people, it's like you and en you enjoy it. You enjoy it why it benefits you until the, the, the so-called white man shows you that he's your enemy. OK, because she was on the video saying. Yeah. All right. Hey, Shalom. I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, I had uh, received a phone call. Um, but, um, yeah, she was, she was on a video saying, you know, how it was a pandemic and they was doing things on purpose. And, um, for years through your, how about Shimmy, I was shy. We've been telling you that this man is our enemy. All right. This man is our enemy. Uh, he, like the brother said on the highway, it's just, he said, slavery is enough. All right. Slavery was enough. That's what he, that, that's all he needed, you know? <laughs> And, and it goes to show you because here it is. They 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 want us to forget slavery. 
they want to take it um, out of um, the, the, the school system. All right. Even African-American history, so-called African-American history. They, they're having it to where certain schools wouldn't. They're trying to have it, I would say, to where certain schools wouldn't have to take it. Or It's just it's so much. They just constantly try to bury us and bury us. But now we come to this damn um, Maxine. Y'all want to put us first, man. OK, now y'all want to put us first. Never in history have they put us first. But now y'all want to put us first. Y'all only put us first. When we become test subjects, man. Okay. Y'all only put us first when we become test subjects. All right. So, uh, and speaking of the, the Maxine, she also says certain of them, you know, certain places to benefit them people down there would, uh, they was asking if you had got the Maxine, you know? So this place is slowly turning in like the apostles and elders been saying for years and, and, you know, on down to the, to the youngest of, you know, great millstone, as well as whoever else is teaching it, this microchip is the mark of the beast. That's what they're shooting towards, man. Okay. That's what they are shooting towards. They want to control you. They want to claim you as their property. All right. So they're going to have events here and events here and events there. That's more severe than other places. Yeah. The whole country has to put on masks, but certain states is considered hot zones. Certain states uh, have more restrictions than others. All right. Now here it is. Texas ain't got a, a record breaking, you know, uh, situation far as cold weather and they without power and they going through it, man. And like she said in the video, it's going to come to a, a, a city near you. OK, this is Hey, the prophets were out th are out there for a reason, man. Like I did that lesson last night about being a shepherd. That's why the Lord told Peter three times to feed his sheep. Our job is to put that work, put that work in, man, to labor. OK, for you, how about Shem Shai? So his word gets out there. So he's justified, not saying that he need us. But when people try to say, well, I didn't know you knew. You just ignored the known, man. Okay? You ignored the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Because what? Our people transgress against him unto this very day. Okay? Verse 4, it says, For they are imputed children and stiff-hearted. Right? Oh, I did not want to do that. And once you go into the word imputed, it says, Without shame or shameless, man. Okay? It says, uh, shamed, uh, says in meaning not or opposite of and pu uh, plus prudence, which is, uh, ashamed or modest. So not ashamed, not modest, man. Okay. And that's how our people operate. They do what they want to do because why Esau, the so-called white man said, that's what they can do. Okay. And they love to have it. So as the scriptures say. They want to constantly trust in him until they realize what the Lord had us telling them was true, man. They get a, a taste of that. Now they want to run to the Lord. Now they want to seek the Lord, man. You should, the Job said, shall we receive the good of the, of the most high and not the evil? All right. I forget exactly how it's worded, but it say uh, men have received blessings of the Lord and have not known them. All right. When you're doing good, you might you might say thank you, you know, good thing or you lucky. I'm lucky. But it's the Lord ultimately, you know, giving you those blessings, showing you get letting you relax in them days of, that you have your relaxation and stuff. OK, that's what that. But yet and still what you still trust. You're looking for a stimulus check. You're looking for your taxes. OK. You're constantly trying to one up the next person, man. All right. None of that is going to get you nowhere with what's coming to this place. It says, I do send thee unto them. Um, and thou uh, says, for they are imputed children and stiff hearted. 
right? So they are shameless and, and hard headed, man. They're strong against us. And that's why the next verse, well, I'm going to finish this one. It says, I do send thee unto them and thou shalt say unto them, thus saith the Lord. That's what we say. When we're on the highways and the byways, we're bringing out the scriptures, we're bringing out the doctrine of the heavenly father. It's because the Lord said, man, it's not us coming out here. Hey, we should do this. No, it's the Lord said, this is what we do. All right. I believe it's um, second Kings, the eighth chapter. What it speaks about, if we were all pray to the east, to the heavenly father, we could have been out of the situation. But we're, we're, it's not going to happen like that. It's not meant to even happen like that. All right. Because the Lord is not coming to save all, man. OK. And then the, verse five, it says and they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are a rebellious house, whether you hear it or not, believe it or not. OK. Your unbelief does not stop the heavenly father's uh, program, man. It's just like as simple as a basketball game. Just because you don't like the opposing team doesn't mean that they're going to lose. No, if they got more inspiration, motivation to to prove, even prove people wrong or, you know what I'm saying, to get the goal done, yo one, my, <laughs> yo, one measly thought doesn't change the outcome, man. All right. Now, you can take a guess. You can take a guess and you might be right. But with the Lord and you opposing his will, you're never going to be right. It says, uh, yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them. And that's what it's going to come down to. Oh, I remember now. Oh, um, man, I wish I could have sat down and, and dang, where's I think it's eight. I wish I could have sat down and studied more and learned more and, you know. Man, it, it, it's going to hit hard, man. They out there wiping out the, the supermarkets and, and shelves is empty. All right. Asking, got starting GoFundMe accounts and all kind of things. Just like that, though. It was all good just a week ago, you know, but it was all it just changed. All right. There was no, hey, get prepared. Hey, go stock up on food. We're going to have this set up. We're going to have to stop power. No, they the, the 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 people in charge was just doing things as they was going, you know, for the most part. All right. There wasn't a, a preparation for all of what they're going through, man. Months, weeks, you know, years. No, man, the Lord is doing stuff at the snap of a finger. OK. It says uh, now I'm come over to Amos eight. It says Amos eight and eleven. It says, behold, the days come set the Lord power. That I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh, man. All right. Which they actually somewhat going through that now. You can see multiple videos. They without food. They without water. They can't even drink the water down there. The water has parasites in them. All right. They was told not to drink the water down there. All right. It says, uh, but that word, man, that's that's going to. That's going to change the game because the scriptures is what? It's called the comforter, man. All right. The scriptures is the comforter. There's a few scriptures where it says, comfort, comfort ye, comfort ye one another with these words, man. Because this has the answers. When you don't know what the hell is going on, you want to know. When you're confused about something, you want to know what's going on. All right. This has the answers, man. I'm about to just cut the Wi-Fi off. But uh, yeah, this 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 the the sword, the scriptures, the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has the answers, man. All right, that's why us, you know, who've been allowed to to have that eye salve removed and 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 you know, being able to see what is and what's coming, man. It, it's it's truly an honor. It's truly. Grace is truly mercy because we have the opportunity to prepare for these things. Just like a brother was telling the story about he was showing his, his family about the snow is not melting. They're putting fire to the snow and it's not melting. And they was acting like it that's normal. No, snow is supposed to melt when you put fire to it. It's not supposed to turn black. 
All right, videos of people putting it in a microwave and it's sparking as it's a, if it's have if it got metal in it. They got it on the stove, it's not melting. They got it in the oven, it's not melting. Like what's really going on? But we told you, man, this man ain't your friend. All right. Now the famine of the word is going to come, and these questions that you have is not going to be answered. You're going to have to figure them out yourself. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh and shall not find it, man. And that's what's going to happen. You're not going to be able to find it because it's going to it's going to get worse. Everybody was running from 2020, running to 2021, thinking that it's going to get better. Like there was never a, a broadcast saying this is only going to happen for one year. Like, no, man. The downfall of a kingdom is like a snowball effect. It gets bigger and worse at the end of it. OK, these things are going to constantly come up, man. But the thing is, they were spoken of years back when you had time to prepare for it. All right. The word is still out there now. You got to get it while you can. But once the Lord cut that, cut that uh, uh, food supply off. Oh, man. It's a wrap. It's a wrap, man. But uh, yeah, with that, Lord willing, you was edified and exhorted. Uh, we at the end of this thing, Lord willing, we endure this, man. It, it's um, what what we want to happen is happening all through Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, and, and Lord willing, we of that number, you know, and receive that mercy and that grace into salvation, you know. Um, hey, stay locked in. With that, I want to say, call law Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakar Kodash. Double honor to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone once again. Blessing to the elect of Yasha Allah once again. And salutations and blessings to you, Akim, out there and doing this truth across the four corners of the earth once again. And blessings to you women and children that follow. Shalom.